So hooker jab to middle kick to knee transition, we're just building on what we've been working on. So building on what we've been working on, southpaw dynamic, stepping outside around the corner to line up the power. In this case, being first by initiating with the hooker jab. DJ begins with the hooker jab step. This is fairly familiar. He throws that middle kick. I try to handle that. He quickly pulls it down and switches to a knee. That knee oftentimes can catch me unawares. If not, again. Okay, assuming I do block it, DJ's in two things. One, a great position where he can continue to throw punches and work at the angle, or DJ can take the head and control clinch position, okay, which is obviously a very bad position for me. So again, stepping off line, landing that middle kick, and he's going to switch out of his kick right to the neck. With this to the knee, he's controlling the shoulder, he's holding me down, he pulled me in a little bit. His free hand is going to snap the head as I come up and he comes out and he's going to hang his weight. And then guess what, I'm looking at knees again. Let's try it one more time, please. So now, a drill that's going to help you get this transition down between the kick and the knee. DJ's gonna go ahead and demonstrate. What's important is that we go quickly from the kick right to the knee, switching without having both feet on the ground. Good hand exchange, the hands are up. series of South Pie Dynamics. There's lots of different things that we can move into. Here's a precursor of some of the things that you can do.